Hey everybody, today's video is going to be my November empties. I actually got through quite a bit for the month of November. I kind of surprised myself quite a bit for me because um, first of all, I'm not able to, to melt every single day. Like I'm not at home every day. And then um, I'm also the type of person that I literally let my stuff melt until the scent is gone. So I'm not like pouring off wax or anything. So um, I was surprised by how much I got through, but I just wanted to share it with you guys really quick. Um, so I have two soaps here. The first one here from Bath and Body Works is Pumpkin Berry Crumble. And the notes are here, Wild Blueberries, Vanilla Extract, and Glazed Sugar. This is a Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. Um, this was a nice scent, but for me personally, this wasn't really a fall type of scent. There was quite a bit of that berry note coming through and not very much pumpkin or crumble. So it just kind of smelled like a fruity berry scent. It was really nice, but it's probably not something I would pick up again. Next up, I have this one, which is um, Ghoul Friend, and this is Dark, oh my, here we go, Dark Strawberries, Ghostly Peonies, Spine Chilling Citrus, and this was a really nice scent, however, again, it's not really a fall scent, it's not something that makes me think of Halloween at all, it was a nice kind of floral, fruity scent, Really nice. I would probably rebuy this again if it weren't in this packaging, but um, like for Halloween and um, October, November, um, this just isn't the type of scent I want to smell. I'm very much a seasonal melter, and that goes for my soap too. <laughs> so um, while I did like the scent, I probably wouldn't get this again unless it was like packaged for the um, spring or summer, and maybe it is, and I just don't know it, but I did really enjoy this scent. All right, what do I want to start with? Okay, we'll do candles. So this first one I have here is a Yankee Candle Simply Home. This is from Walmart. My mom got this for Christmas and gave it to me because she doesn't really burn candles. This candle was nice um, for the most part. So... The burn was okay, and then I started getting a lot of soot. I wiped it off because um, if I start getting a ton of soot, I will usually just take it off and put it on the melter. But if it's just like a little bit of soot, I'll just wipe it off. Um, then it started kind of, well, the flame was kind of crazy. So I was having a hard time get, keeping the flame under control. And I think because the flame was kind of crazy, that's what was causing the soot. So I clipped the wick at one point because it's been a while. <laughs> I'm trying to remember all these scents, but I clipped the wick and I think I clipped it too short. And what happened is it had started tunneling. And when I clipped the wick, I clipped it too short. And so the wick started drowning. So then from here, you can see I tried to pour some of this out that didn't work so well. And this ended up going on the melter. The scent was like, to me, just a berry scent. It borderlined cough syrup, like cherry cough syrup, but it wasn't quite medicinal. Um, I mean, it was just your basic kind of cherry scent. There was nothing really amazing about this candle. I probably pulled it off the warmer a little bit early just because, I mean, it really wasn't doing anything for me. But, um, it was a nice candle. I did have to, you know, use the tin foil to prevent it from tunneling a lot, which is annoying. But um, it was okay. Definitely not a repurchase, though. The next candle I melted was Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. Um, this is from last year. This is really great. Um, I have no complaints. There's a little bit of residue on here just because... Um, I don't know, it had a little bit of a hard time, but it always corrected itself when it started to get puny wicks. Um, it got puny wicks probably like two or three times throughout this burn, and it fixed itself. It burned clear down, extinguished itself, and it was really great. Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte is nothing like it sounds to me. It's just a really pretty, perfumey um, vanilla scent. There is like this kind of warmth to it that makes it very much fall, but to me it's just a really 
more intense vanilla scent and I absolutely adore this. And I honestly think, I believe this was my last one, so that makes me sad. I did not um, join in on the candle sale, so if I saw this probably at like semi-annual, I would pick up some more because I really do like um, this scent a lot. So, enjoyed that one. Um, let's do my clams here. So, from Walmart, I have two of these. This is pumpkin marshmallow cream. This is just a creamy pumpkin scent. Um, I really like this scent a lot. Um, it's just a very non-offensive scent. First of all, it's not spicy at all. You know, a lot of times you get these pumpkin scents and they're super spicy. They, um, are too much. This one is not that at all. Um, it's literally just a beautiful, creamy, sweet pumpkin scent. This is something you could melt when you have company over. It's not going to be too much. Um, and if you don't like a lot of spice, but you want it, you know, you want that kind of, you know, pumpkin pie, November kind of scent, um, this is a really nice one to have. So it's just a nice pumpkin scent. It really is. So I enjoyed that one. I also have from Walmart in the main stains, main stays line, pecan pumpkin cake. This is another one I absolutely love. It is a very yummy, um, bakery pumpkin scent. It's nutty. It's sweet. It's bakery. It smells so good. Um, this scent though, as I've said before, does not last a long time. So maybe like the first couple hours, two or three hours, you're going to get a really strong scent. And I do get a really strong scent for the first three hours, but then it dissipates rather quickly. Um, and it doesn't last, but, um, I will continue to buy this just because I really love that scent. Um, over here, let's see, one, two, th so I got through five clams of farm apple pumpkin. I've talked about this a number of times. Farm apple pumpkin, to me, is just a nice, um, non-spicy pumpkin kind of apple cider scent. It's really fruity and juicy. Um, I just love this scent. There's, like, a touch of cinnamon in there. It's, it's beautiful, like. I can't get enough. I still have a ton of clams of this, so I will be fully stocked for next year. But I did get through five, and I thoroughly enjoyed them as they were melting. Um, that one's also a really good thrower for me, which is just a bonus. So, love that one. Um, I have Stormy Autumn Nights. And this is another one from Better Homes and Garden at Walmart. This one, I did not love. Um, I should have known better. <laughs> I don't know why I try to go for these cologne scents because they just, they just never work for me. Um, this is definitely just a cologne scent. Um, it's really sweet. It's borderline kind of soapy, um, men's soap kind of scent. And I melted it in the bathroom and it did fine in there. I just have one of those little plug-in warmers. No, I don't have a, well, I did have a plug-in in there when I was melting this and then I, I switched to a regular warmer in my bathroom. But anyhow, um, so I was melting it one cube at a time. I'd say if you like those like, kind of men's cologne soapy type scents, you would like this. I did not. So <laughs> I would not repurchase that. I got through a fragrant woodland walk. Absolutely love this scent. Again, I've talked about this a number of times. Um, this is so good. So just looking at the name of it, I, this would not ever appeal to me, but it's like a sweet tree scent. It is so sweet. And I think that's what makes it okay for me. Like, I feel like if all pine or tree or balsam, whatever scents could have the sweetness that this clam has, I would probably like them all much better. Um, it's just beautiful. I love it. It smells like this, this sweet, fresh air walking through the trees, and it is absolutely wonderful. I love that. I think I have one or two clams left of that. Next, from the Sonoma line at Kohl's, I have Falling Leaves. This one, again, was really surprised me. Um, so I'm not a big fan of the Bath and Body Works leaves. Um, I know a lot of people love that, and it's a cult favorite, but it's not. I just don't love that scent. This one, when you smell it on cold, 
Um, it's not quite like Bath and Body Works leaves. It's a little bit sweeter to me, not quite as medicinal. Um, and then when you melt this, it kind of transforms. So when I melted this, I got the leaves, but there was also like this little bit of spice in there. So I got like a little bit of like an orange note. I got a little bit of like a cinnamon note. And then of course that kind of the leafy note. And there's just some sweetness to this that I absolutely love. Um, I even uh, mix this with um, vanilla cookie crunch. I liked it with that as well. But this one I really, really enjoyed. Um, I would totally get that scent again. I have from the Bathing Garden Frosted Snow Angels. I cannot remember what this is, but um, this was like an apple scent. I don't have the notes for it, and it was wonderful. Now, did this put me in the vein of, like, Christmas? No. And when I buy scents, especially, you know, when vendors put out their Christmas scents and stuff, I'm trying to look for scents that are going to put me in that, you know, Christmas spirit. Um... For me personally, I mean, this is like a fresh apple. It's something I feel like I would melt in like September. Um, it's beautiful, Frosted Snow Angels. I don't even know what the other notes are because really all I'm getting from this is a nice fresh apple. Maybe like a little bit of a caramel scent. Um, and it is really nice. Like, oh, geez. Like I did really enjoy it. But for me personally, it's just not a Christmas scent. Um, but I did like that one. And then the last clam I have, sadly, is this one by Barrett Wax Crafts and Brandied Pears. This is going to my sister. I did not like this scent, guys. Um, I don't know what it was. I mean, this is definitely a true pear scent. And you definitely get that boozy note. But I don't know if it's the mix of them or if I needed to add, like, some vanilla or what. But I just was not digging it. One thing I will say, though, is this one was a crazy crazy insane thrower so if you are looking for a good christmas pear scent and you want a good thrower this one is going to be amazing but for me personally um it just i just didn't like it even smelling it now i just i just didn't like it so <laughs> that's all i can say i feel so bad saying that because it was such a good thrower but i just didn't dig it so Next melt cups I got through. This one is Pumpkin Cupcake from Yankee Candle. Um, I bought this on the Yankee Candle website, but it didn't have a picture. This was just a nice pumpkin bakery scent. So nothing too crazy. Um, nothing to write home about. But yeah, it's just a nice pumpkin bakery scent. Now, unlike the pecan um, cake, pumpkin pecan cake, this one is not as sweet. It's definitely a little bit more savory. And the pumpkin in this is more, to me, like a pure pumpkin. You do get like a little touch of cinnamon. But um, it was a really nice scent. I enjoyed it. Another one, very non-offensive. If you needed something for company, that one would be perfect. Next up, I melted spiced pumpkin. This one was also nice. Literally exactly what it says. It's definitely a spiced pumpkin. But for me personally, there's like a a creaminess to this pumpkin. Like there's spice in there, but it's like not too much. And it's really, um, I don't know, the cream or whatever that is, the vanilla, just really pulls it all together. I really liked that one as well. And then the last melt cup I got through, okay, <laughs> is Snowflake Cupcakes. Obviously, you put snowflake on the front and put some snowflakes on the on the label and people are going to think it's for Christmas, but this is just a straight vanilla scent. Um, that's exactly what it smelled like. Really sweet, really intense vanilla scent. Um, very strong and not artificial smelling or plasticky. Um, so I really liked this one. I would repurchase that for sure. Let's see. So now I'll go into my little bags here. I'll start with this one. This first one is from 30 Street Crafts. And um, this is in the scent Christmas Wine. You can see how long I've had this. So it's Cabernet Wine, which is berries and oak. This thing was amazing. So obviously I've had this since last year. 
Um, it's one of the first things I melted when um, December, or I'm sorry, November hit. And it is wonderful. Like, this smells so good. Um, the wine is sweet. You know, there is some bitterness to wine, but you don't really, that doesn't really translate in this fragrance. The berries are beautiful, and then there's this earthiness that just comes from the oak. It's absolutely amazing. I love this scent. And for being a year old, it threw like nobody's business. Like I cannot tell you, I melted this for probably three days. It was so amazing. So thoroughly impressed by that. From Destination Wax, I have Toasted Marshmallow Spearmint. Absolutely loved this scent. Um, I melted this all in my upstairs area. It was a beautiful, sweet spearmint scent with that marshmallow. It smelled so good. I absolutely enjoyed it. It was a good thrower. I would totally get that scent again. I also melted my sample in Applewood. This one also was really nice, but I did not get as great of a throw from this as I did from the toasted marshmallow peppermint. I don't know if maybe this is a scent I should have let sit for a little bit longer, but um, the smell of this is really good, and I would totally... Just trying to take another step. I would totally get this again to retry it. For me personally, it was a really pretty apple scent. You did get the woody note, but the, to me there was also a touch of like a cologne note to this. Um, but in a different way than other cologne. I don't really know how to explain it, but um, there was just kind of a manly scent to this. And I really did enjoy it. Um, so I would totally get this one again and try it again. Maybe let it um, cure a little bit longer. So... The next from the bathing garden, I have Winter Apothecary. Winter Apothecary, I think, is like a, I don't know. I feel like it's a candy scent or something. But this one was really nice. It threw really well. And it was just a really nice, sweet scent. So the my winter stuff from the bathing garden I've had since last year, and it's throwing really well for me. So again, bathing garden, you have to let it cure for a really long time, which for some people is annoying. But um, I do, I do love it. So, all right, we will move on to lasting scent candles. So I have four that I was able to get through. This one is the Great Pumpkin. Unfortunately, I don't have scent descriptions for any of these, but I will tell you all of these were good throwers. So the Great Pumpkin is just your basic pumpkin scent. There's a little bit of creaminess to this, but there's hardly any spice. And this one smelled really good. I cut these in half and melt them like one in the kitchen, one in the living room or whatever. Works out really well for me. Screaming Apparitions. Um, This is another one that was... um. <sighs> I'm not sure what's in this, but this scent was really heavy. I just remember it being really heavy. It smelled good, but it is intense. So this is not one I would want in a small room. I would want this in a really open area. Like even smelling it now, the scent is just a heavy scent. So I did like it though. Next up, Butter Brickle Shortbread, also from Lasting Scent Candles. This was just a buttery cookie scent. Um... Oh, it smells so good. Um, another heavy, <coughs> excuse me, another heavy kind of bakery note. But again, it was a great performer. Threw really well. And then this one, which absolutely stands out in my mind, Blueberry Pumpkin Bars. And not for good reason. Um, I did not enjoy this scent. I probably wouldn't get it again. For me personally, this was just a straight, intense blueberry scent. Let me say... First, Lasting Scent Candles, her wax is strong. So I melted half of this in my kitchen and it literally overtook the whole kitchen and started to go upstairs, the blueberry. I couldn't get any of the pumpkin. I could not get any of the bar, whatever that is, whether that's graham cracker or cookie or whatever. All I got was straight, intense blueberry. And while I do like blueberry, I'm picky about blueberry, but when I find one I like, I do like it. But, um... This one was just too intense for me, so would not repurchase that. And then lastly, I have a bunch of stuff from Sugar and Spice, so we'll hop right into that. Um, this was um, funnel cake, caramel apples, and uh, marshmallow and vanilla bean Noel. And this is one that I blended myself. I think I melted two of these. I absolutely loved this scent. So this was... 
Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So melting, you got the apple note, the strongest. Then that, or caramel apple, that funnel cake kind of comes through. And the marshmallow and vanilla just makes it creamy. It's sweet. It's appley. Um, it has a little touch of that bakery note. It's amazing. So I enjoyed that a lot. Then another one that I made. This was funnel cake, apple pie, and pumpkin praline. So this was one, <coughs> excuse me, that I also really enjoyed. Um, it was nice because I thought this one was going to be a little bit too spicy when I first got it. Because, again, this was a scent I created. But um, it actually wasn't. And it smelled really good. Um, so I really enjoyed that one. This is like one of those nice kind of cinnamon homey scents. But it's not too intense on the cinnamon. Then I have Butter Brickle Gingerbread. This is one that I liked, but um, it was a little bit light and not necessarily my favorite gingerbread scent. So um, while I did enjoy it, it was not um, a fave. Sweet Pumpkin Pie. This is another one that was really good. Um, this one for me, when it melted, had a little bit more of a savory note. I know it's a sweet pumpkin pie, and when you think about pie, you think sweet, sweet, sweet. And it was definitely pumpkin-y and pie-y, like you could smell that crust and all of that, but, um, it wasn't as sweet. But I did enjoy it. Um, I actually like those kind of scents in November. Um, I don't mind them having a little bit more of a savory note. So, I did like that pumpkin pie scent. Next is Pumpkins in the Fire. I cannot remember what the scent description is on this, but I feel like this is just like her marshmallow bonfire or something with pumpkin thrown in. And this was uh, amazing, you guys. Like, I loved this. Um, I melted this upstairs. It does have a little bit more of a perfumey note. You get the smokiness and you get that kind of vanilla bonfire with the pumpkin. And it is beautiful. Oh, I thoroughly enjoyed that one. I would totally repurchase this. To me, this is like a perfect fall bedroom scent in November or October. It's amazing. Next, I have Caramel Drizzled Pears. This is another one that just blew me out of the water. I loved this one so much. Um, and I'm thinking now smelling this that maybe the Barrett Wax Crafts, that Paris brandied pear, maybe it was the brandy. Because her pear doesn't smell that far off from his and I absolutely love this scent. So maybe it's the brandy I don't like in that scent, which is okay. But um, the caramel, oh, it's wonderful. It literally smells like Cider Lane if Cider Lane was a caramel pear scent versus a caramel apple. It's wonderful, you guys. And this one threw like a champ. I loved that one. Would totally repurchase it. And then last here, I have Cider Donuts, which was weird. Um, It's kind of hard to explain, but even smelling it now. So first, let me say this. This smells amazing. Like, it smells so good. But it does not smell like Cider Donuts. Like... You get a little bit of an apple note, but this is like a perfume. Like, this is a perfume that I wouldn't want to spray on me and wear. I melted it in my room, and I was like, well, maybe if I melt it, you know, some of that kind of greasy cider donut or, you know, a bakery note will come out. It did not. It literally smells like an apple perfume. And I like it. But when you're thinking that you're getting a cider donut scent, um... Yeah, it's a little disappointing, but I mean, I would repurchase this because I think it smells really good. It just doesn't smell like cider donuts to me. So that is everything I was able to get through. Again, it was quite a bit of stuff, um, but I'm so glad it's December. I'm excited to be melting new December stuff. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry, it's a long one. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.